Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here. I want to talk about cheap camera lenses. And I've found some really good ones lately. And I think um, I am done buying good lenses for a while. Or expensive lenses, if you will, because there's a lot of other options that you can test out and get some pretty good looking stuff. And we're going to go over a few of them. First one we're going to go over is this little gem. This guy. So what you see now, or what you're looking through, I picked up at a pawn shop for 25 bucks. It's a Sigma 28 to 80 macro. No stabilization. The autofocus works. It's not the fastest, but it works. Like right now, I'm letting it do its autofocus. I originally intended on using the manual to try to keep it super quiet. So I actually even opted to not even use any external microphone right now. What you're hearing is coming straight from my camera so you can hear how loud the electric motor is in the lens. So if you took the time to say, use this lens on autofocus and you had a microphone, those microphones are pretty good at not covering and not picking up uh, noise. You could probably get away with using it like this. I'm at 28 right now, which comes out to almost 40 on a crop sensor. Just for that tree. Yeah, it's very long. That took way too long for my liking, personally. So what I would do probably is use this on manual. But you can use it on auto if you're in a fixed area and you're just trying to track a face so it doesn't have to do too much work. But if you're trying to do transitions and stuff, it's just too slow, look at that. That is just way too slow way too slow so then this is on uh, still manual but then I just touch my focus to where I want it if you keep where you want it to be it's not gonna wander you know that's the thing with it it's definitely usable this is a really cheap lens really cheap lens 25 bucks the color isn't even bad on it. Got decent bokeh. But that's what it looks like. Super cheap lens. We're gonna we'll try to get a couple macro shots real quick. Another gem I want to show you that's really one of my favorites right now is this guy. This is a Canon 1.4. Come on, you gotta focus. There you go. This is the Canon 1.4 FD mount. I got this in a collection of, from a guy. He was selling all of his old lenses, and this was in there first I wasn't sure what you can do or if you could even use these but I took the risk and bought them and did some researching and I found that uh, you can use these it takes a adapter the one I purchased is the photo diox adapter it actually puts out some really good video I'm going to show you guys some test footage of that as well alright <laughs> now we're on a stable type of platform I got it on a picnic table we're at the park still I wanted to put it on something more stable so you can really see how sharp this lens is I'm about uh, 12 feet away from it which is one of the drawbacks of the 50 millimeter on a crop sensor on top of the converter it makes it a bit of a zoom so you gotta be a little farther away from your subject 
but it works great for outdoor low light stuff. We're in the shade right now. We intentionally found one of the darkest places around just because it's that good at light. I wanted to show just how sharp and just how much of a, I almost want to call it a fingerprint these older lenses have compared to everything that's out now. I, I just, it treats light differently is the best way I can describe it. It just, it doesn't cut people out, but it bends them out where it's still sharp, but not just, it's a different type of sharpness is the best way I can put it. It really is well built. It's not a cinema lens, but it comes pretty close. You can adjust your aperture old school from the outside. I think a big part of these is because they didn't have images processors back then. There was nothing you can do really much in post compared to what you can do now. Lens had to make it look real good and these really did. They're really well built. This is probably one of my favorite lenses. But it really is quality. The moral of the story really is you don't have to buy brand new or really expensive to get some pretty quality stuff. Another, what I'm showing you right now is the Canon 24mm 2.8 STM. It only work on a crop sensored camera. I got my T6i that it's hooked up to now. But the follow focus works really good. It's really sharp. I haven't been able to use it much for landscape photography or anything. I was going to do that today, but I got a little distracted. <laughs> impressed with it for the money because it's a 24 millimeter and it's still a prime you're getting some pretty good autofocus you don't get any stabilization I don't even know I'm not sure like the cheapest available prime that does have stabilization I'm not even sure how that curve goes but I know they do make them but my guess is they're pretty expensive so for now it's a compromise what I've been able to do is if I'm running with a prime with no stabilization I'm either on my gimbal or a tripod because it is that shaky and that's what you see right now and if you're wondering why I'm just moving this camera without touching it I am you're hooked up to my gimbal right now and uh, I want to I want to thank anyone that's going to take the time to watch this I want to be a little more relaxed with stuff and go over all all the stuff I've learned about photography as I go and I've learned a lot some trial and error and YouTube University it's just been a tool that it just can't be matched. If you're wondering what this one is, this is a 200 millimeter prime Caligar. Yeah, I said that right. It's a 200 millimeter prime. Pretty ridiculous, right? It works too. I can get this to work on my DSLR, but it's just not that well of a, not that sharp of an image. Don't really use this one either. Out of all the old lenses I've come across so far that I actually use that goes in my bag, there's only one that, you know, has earned bag privileges. And that's this guy, this, this Canon 1.4. It really is just that sharp of a lens. I don't think anyone that's going to watch this. I will start doing segments on different parts of photography as I learn. I'll do some uh, reviews on things as I buy stuff. I want to thank anyone that watches this. Have a good day. Take care.